My first story is Animate Anyone. Maybe the, the last story that we covered could have, could have used a little of this. And now that AI song is stuck in my head for the rest of the night. <laughs> I have forgotten it already. All right, up next, I got uh, Space Lasers. I certainly think running a wire would be a little difficult. Yeah, yeah, we can't do a wire. <laughs> I think we should just fire some 5G towers into space. My final question is, uh, do you know if they are developing space sharks to go with these space lasers? Oh, that would and be will great. they put them on their heads? That would be great. And I'm glad, you're, I'm glad that was your last question and not something <laughs> else. Hey, how the tech are you? I am uh, Producer Dave. I'm the producer mostly of this show and all the other shows at Echoplex Media. Check out echoplexmedia.com. Find me on Grindr. Um, my first story is Animate Anyone. Maybe the, the last story that we covered could have, could have used a little of this. Um, it's Video Deepfakes. This story is from Tech. This is a project of Alibaba Group's Institute for Intelligent Computing. This is not the first such project, but it seems they've crossed the uncanny valley if you don't look too close. I like how there's a, a cat girl there. Previous models had showed this was possible, but those models hallucinated a lot more. And with all this stuff, hands are always a problem, and you're going to see most of the problems in, in the hands if you look closely at the uh, video. Has anybody uh, been keeping an eye on this, or even just a fan of the cat girl and the image that they showed? No, this is the first I've heard of it. So, I mean, I've heard of deep fakes before and there, there's been a lot of stuff coming out about it. Uh, I didn't know about this specific one. I guess they just, they're doing a lot better job of deep faking. It really oh, struggles sorry. when it gets to, cause it's the idea here is that it starts with a single image so that it starts to struggle when okay. <clears throat> what it's doing is too, like if it's just a person kind of standing off, like kind of little offset, like you would do, like, you know, if you're taking a picture of clothing or whatever, right? Well, I doubt they could make it do jumping jacks. Um, it wouldn't be very, uh, <laughs> wouldn't be very convincing but if they just had it like kind of back and forth a little bit maybe swaying swaying the the model's hips or whatever it's probably pretty convincing yeah if you want to bring up the article again they have like a an animation about you know a few paragraphs down it looks to me a lot like control net in stable diffusion uh in stable diffusion there's this thing called control net where you have uh, a 3d position just like what you see here in the middle, uh, but it's not animated. This one is animated, uh, and you can you can basically tell Stable Diffusion that that is the position, that's the pose that you want it to generate a model, uh, and it will generate that. So it it seems to me like it's a continuation of that kind of work. Seems so, yeah. And <clears throat> you know, if it's just from a, a one image, you it's obvious that the further away from the position that the, that the image is in that you're trying to generate, the more likely it is to hallucinate and do weird things. It just I'm really surprised at the temporal consistency of this of the example that they show what i'm talking about is like from one frame to the next it doesn't seem like it's jumping around and adding uh like you know morphing things in an unnatural way things are actually flowing and moving in in a way that they really would in in real life uh at least from this like gif that they're showing here maybe there are other examples that don't have that sort of same consistency yeah it looks i've seen some other videos produced with ai that are um you know full videos generated from like ai generators and it's like each frame is a little bit different and like the person that they're showing in the first frame is completely different from the last one you know because <laughs> yeah. like everything in the frame is morphing and the people look different and it's it's kind of creepy looking or like as someone is turning their head to the side yeah. their face will like morph into a different location yeah. And their clothes like completely change. You know? it's <laughs> yeah. Like, why? <laughs> yeah. So this seems to have much better, like I was saying, the temporal consistency. It seems so. Uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's going to be a problem. Speaking of problem, and I don't think they use this, but uh, I don't, this is kind of touching on other uh, top, you know, topics that are, we do in other shows but uh there was a video of aoc that uh was generated recently it's doing the rounds where they did it they didn't use ai generated video but they apparently generated her voice and and basically copied it over this video and it somewhat fits you know if you don't look closely it's not obvious that she's not actually saying the words uh, but i don't know if you've heard about that or have thoughts on that this what are they making her say it was something stupid is just to make her sound I I, oh, okay. I don't remember the topic, but it was it was some oh I think it was something on like ceasefire and it was some like 
pun on on cease or something. I don't know. It, uh, she was basically supposedly talking about Israel and, and saying something completely stupid and nonsensical. Uh, but okay. it was obvious it was the voice was faked. Like they put it into an AI generator to generate her voice and then just put over another video. So the video wasn't changed at all. And it like it it's pretty obvious from the beginning if you're paying attention. If you're not like really looking you might not notice it but or if um, you're motivated to believe it or motive yeah exactly <laughs> and that's what they say that's a, a big issue that's it's apparently uh fooling a, a good number of people uh i won't say what what type of people are motivated or are getting fooled but yep. uh, motivated reasoning can jump through a whole lot of hoops to make you believe yeah. something all right up next i got uh space lasers i'm not <laughs> Not a specific kind of space laser that has been in the news previously. This is, uh, this is uh, well, crewed missions to Mars are going to need a better way to communicate than uh, what we have now. And it could be optical communication, space lasers. That could be the solution. The current system, the Deep Space, uh, Deep space Network, was created about 60 years ago. And oftentimes demands for bandwidth exceed the capacity of the system by 40% or more. And this optical system would operate in tandem with the Deep Space Network. Figured I'd put this on there because of space lasers, but also because it's kind of interesting. We already use uh, fiber optics for uh, land-based communication, so optical communication i certainly think running a wire would be a little difficult yeah yeah we can't do a wire <laughs> but yeah um just to be clear though radio waves are optical we just can't see them they're light you know radio is a form of light uh it's it is electromagnetic radiation just like visible light is uh the only difference is that we can see visible light and radio waves we cannot see they're invisible to us right i think that this is just because it said space lasers that i chose it and i think it's <laughs> you know to the to the extent that uh they're going to market it this way it's actually kind of smart because it, that's something that's been in the public's consciousness in another in another form for another reason yeah i don't know enough about it but it's not surprising that a network that like, created 60 years ago would be having some problems keeping up the article talked a little bit about the um oh god i've already forgot the name of the new the new that new telescope um oh, oh god I, anyway that the, the, the this the new the newest telescope the newest space telescope we have is james webb uh yeah, James Webb. Yeah, that that is that we're just not because of this uh, system that we have here. We're missing opportunities to get data from that, and that then that there we're just missing like we as a planet are basically missing a lot of opportunities to get data from vehicles in space just due to network constraints. So something was going to have to be done, and I guess using a laser, using lasers, is a pretty good idea. I think we should just fire some five G towers into space. <laughs> So, um, how are they doing this? This is like a ground based laser that they're firing up and, and basically pointing it out, whatever they're trying to communicate with, or I, w <clears throat> I, it's, you know, uh, it's space lasers. So I think it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's like a laser communication device, like probably, you know, in orbit that then so communicates back to the surface. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That would make a lot more sense because then you don't have the atmosphere you're punching through with your laser. So right. if you put it up in space, you probably don't have to have quite as powerful a laser to, to communicate and right. you're close enough to the ground that to the earth that you just, it's basically like a relay. Right. You would just uh, use some other, some other uh, means to uh, connect like wirelessly to the ground yeah. or, or maybe just big long cable. Yeah. Yeah. Like we would use regular radio based on the, what I'm seeing in, in their illustrations, which is probably incorrect. Something like we would use regular radio to talk to a satellite that would then use space lasers to talk to a satellite at Mars that would then use regular radio to talk to like a, a, a crew down on the surface and talk to Elon Musk over there on Mars. And my, my final question is, uh, do you know if they are developing space sharks to go with these space lasers? Oh, that would and be will great. They put them on their heads. That would be great. And I'm glad you're, I'm glad that was your last question and not something <laughs> else. <laughs> but you did not ask me what religion the, la the lasers are no. <laughs> <laughs> i hope so i hope they have uh, shark lasers in space i mean i don't i, I would do it I, i'm for shark right. lasers in space but yeah that's all i got that was uh that was my stories um i liked the uh, second one better but i i I chose, it's interesting that I chose the, uh, the video deep fakes and then HK had put on the, uh, AI artist right before it, which is, <laughs> I think the, the AI artist could have benefited from this, uh, Alibaba groups of video deep fakes. Yeah. yeah. Maybe across a little more of that uncanny Valley before <laughs> putting it up on YouTube. <laughs>
and now that AI song is stuck in my head for the rest of the night. <laughs> I have forgotten it already. And it's not even in good. There's no reason for it to be stuck in my head, but it will be stuck in my head. Yes, I have forgotten it already. I will commit it to the opposite of memory. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for checking out the How the Tech Are You weekly tech news show. If you want to check out our other shows, you can do that on ecoplexmedia.com. And if you want to support us, you can do that on eplex.store or patreon.com slash echoplex don't remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment down down below telling us what you like what you didn't like we want to hear what you think have a great tech and week